Game number two at the shot today, another Division Four showdown with Waterford facing Mike Wiss's Minster Wildcats. Minster fans fired up and Taylor Kogi giving them reason to be. Offensive rebound, puts it back up and in the senior who will play to Ohio Northern makes it two to nothing. Then it's Jessica Falk knocking down the three, seven, four lead for Minster at this point. More from the Wildcats in the opening quarter. Ivy Wolf to Kogi in transition, nine, six Minster. And then Courtney Pranger muscles it up off glass, 11 to six, orange in front. Second quarter, Pranger some post moves to make it an eight point lead. And then the drive and the dish, Kogi with 10 points, makes it a 10 point lead, 22-12. Before the break, Allie Fisher catches it and surrenders the three. 25-14, Wildcats in front. Third quarter, more transition. Kogi up and in, it's 27-16. Then Ivy Wolf, look at the teardrop out of the freshman, but the lead is only eight. Then Ivy tiptoeing the baseline to her sister Damaris Wolf, who knocks down the triple, 36-23, Wildcats. And in the fourth, they're running away with it. Janae Hoyne, the long two, 38-23. Entry pass into Pranger. The future Xavier Musketeer makes it a 15-point lead. And Pranger finishing with 13 points as Minster moves on to the state championship in Division Four with a 46-31 win. They'll face Ottoville on Saturday. The last game that they played, Allie Kern had 17 points and 17 points and 19 rebounds. And the last two games Minster played, we've played two very good rebounding teams. Fort Larmy is active as the Dickens on the boards, and we gave them two offensive rebounds. And tonight, uh, this group, that was one of our goals to keep them off the glass because of how hard they crash, and we gave them three offensive rebounds. So uh, Minster's got some athletic posts, these two ladies sitting next to me here, that do a great job. Um, and, you know, we work hard. We, we got to a bunch of 50-50 balls. Um, I'm proud of them. My teammates and I, we just do a great job of working inside out. That's the Minster offense, and we really executed on that today for sure. Ivy was special today. Um, we do a goal card um, once or twice a week, once or twice a month, and I gave him a goal card on Monday because we were coming to Columbus. This is your last goal card of the year. Uh, Ivy's goal card was to let everyone see that this little girl can play on a big stage. That was her basketball goal on the card. And how she handled it when people came in the double team and in the open floor to be, and sometimes to attack and sometimes to pull it back out and run the clock, um, she's not a freshman anymore. I'm definitely saying that we talked about it before the game um, that we're an inside out team. So definitely just trying to push it in. And that's kind of where I got some of my points is just, um, they would guard the arc, the arc too, our arc. So then when the ball goes in, um, Courtney and I had some pretty good positions to get some points, so that's where it came from. The thing I like about our team is we're balanced. You know, we don't have a, I have two people sitting next to me here that are gonna further their basketball careers in college, but they don't care about that right now. They're very unselfish, and that carries over to the people that, the guards and the other posts that are in their locker room. Um, we're a balanced scoring team. Um, we don't have people scoring 20, 25, points. We get our 12, 13, 14 point scorers and a couple of people score eight or nine. That's who Minster is. That's the kind of league we play in. It's difficult to have those 20 point scorers on a routine basis in our league. Three things we started the day with. First of all was um, to be able to uh, keep them in front of us because we knew how good they were when they put the ball on the floor. Second of all, um, to be able to have a high hand, keep your knees down and have a high hand on defense, which would help hopefully help take away some of their outside shooting. And number three was to rebound the Dickens out of the basketball. And I, I know the rebounding statistics was 32 to 17 Minster. Um, very happy with the efforts that our girls gave. We went, gave, we went 10 deep. And uh, like Waterford's coach just said, you might lose a little bit on offense, when you go 10 deep, but the thing is you don't lose anything on defense when you go 10 deep. And that's a credit to the girls that are wearing black today. We played Ottoville in the middle of January. Um, and I can tell you that I had people from Minster tell me that the people from Ottoville, as they walked out of the gym, it was one point 
and I'm going to tell you the last three minutes were time out, run a set, time out, run a set. It was back and forth. And we were fortunate enough to come out on top. It was, I think, number two versus number four in Ohio at that time. Uh, there were people from Ottaville that made the comment, we want to see that team again. And again, was only going to be one place. And that's where we're at. Um, nothing but respect for what Dave Clayman does. Dave Clayman always has a very nice team in Ottaville. They do a great job. And he's got a bunch of long girls that are going to match up with our long girls. Um, you know, Bridget Landon and uh, Casey Knippen, uh, excellent inside out. Kemper's in there. They're, they're very worthy of being here, believe me. And Northwest Ohio knows that. So we're going to do our darndest to prepare like we do.